Hey everyone, here's how to farm Runarks in Elden Ring if you're an offline PvE player. Now Runarks drop from rats, but the drop rate's really bad. To increase your chances, you need to buff your discovery stat. Early to mid game, that comes down to having a decent arcane stat and a silver pickled foul foot to temporarily buff your discovery stat. Unfortunately, the buff only lasts for three minutes, so you need to craft a lot of them. Right now, I'm showing you how to get to the smoldering church in Kalid, which you can get to at any point in the game just by riding there. But be aware, an invading NPC will attack you if you go in through the front. If you don't want to fight, just ride around the church like I am here and go in via the side, which should keep you pretty safe without a fight. The reason why you need to go here is this is where you'll find the Missionary's Cookbook 3. Once you have that, you'll have the recipe to craft the Silver Pickled Fowl Foot. To craft one foot, you need three Roa Fruit, one Four Toad Fowl Foot, and one Silver Firefly. Since a foot lasts three minutes, you'll need 20 feet for each hour of farming that you're going to do. That's 24 Toad Fowl Feet, 20 Silver Firefly, and 60 Roa Fruit. Now the most efficient way to collect this stuff is to go to the Church of Dragon Communion. That's that little island off the west of Limgrave. You can get to and unlock the Side of Grace there via the Coastal Cave. To do that you have to beat the bosses in the Coastal Cave and then keep going through the Coastal Cave and it will lead all the way through to the Church of Dragon Communion. I'll put a link in the description uh, for how to get through the Coastal Cave if you haven't done that yet. But once you do get to the Church of Dragon Communion and you're on the island, you'll find farming here is really very efficient. The Guillemots, aka Penguins, here have a good drop rate on four toed foul feet, and there's also plenty of rower fruit along the path as you go, so you can farm both of those things in one hit. The best strategy to kill the penguins is from afar. Any ranged attack is a good one. Here I'm using Litany of Proper Death because it has a good AoE, but basically try to use something that can kill them all at once from range. So you can see the drop rate here is pretty good, and that's with me having a low discovery stat. Whenever I do this run, I usually get one as a minimum, but pretty often I get two feet or even three, which is really good. We only need 20 to craft what we need for an hour's worth of rune arc farming, so yeah, it's not too bad. By the time you have all the feet you need, you'll also have all the rower fruit you need as well. So yeah, just kill all these guys, hope they drop what you need, do the run a few times over and over until you've got probably at least 20 of them for an hour's worth of farming of rune arcs, and then you're good to go. Next thing is to head to the Earthbore Cave in the Weeping Peninsula. That's where we'll farm rats and silver firefly. If you don't know how to find this cave, I'll put a link in the description to a complete guide to getting there and a walkthrough of the dungeon to help you out. Oh, and it's handy to have the Beast Repellent Torch here as well. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to a guide on how to get that too. If you already have Silver Firefly, you'll be able to craft the Silver Pickled Fowl Foot now. You can craft up to 999, but you can only hold 10 at a time, so any more than that will go straight to your storage. If you don't have the Silver Fireflies you need yet, don't worry. You'll get them at the end of each 3 minute rat farming run. So to do the run, what you want to do is pop your Silver Pickled Fowl Foot, then drop down this hole and kill the rats that are below. There's one big rat and a bunch of little rats. Most of them will keep away from you while you're holding the beast repellent torch, which can slow the run down a little bit because they're not coming to you, but it's a bit easier with it out. So yeah, I recommend using it. So come into this lit area and there's two rats, kill them and then turn around and go back into the main area. But when you've done your third run, you'll want to keep going through that lit area at the end because that's where we'll get our fireflies. But I'll show that in a minute. So yeah, kill all these guys and hope a, a rune arc drops. There we go. And a golden... And basically any rat that drops a golden rune can drop a rune arc. So anyway, once they're dead, you want to run back up here. You don't want to fast travel back to the side of grace because that will use up your silver pickled foul foot. Instead, what you want to do is run back up here and rest at the side of grace and then repeat the exact same run again. Now, the Silver Pickled Foul Foot really only lasts three minutes, so you've got to be pretty efficient with this. What I like to do is kill the big rat and then run into the lit area, kill the other two rats that are in there, come back and kill the rats in here and then go back to the side of Grace. And on the third run, which is the run where the Silver Pickled Foul Foot buff will run out, I do the lit area last and then just keep running through. So yeah, you should be able to get in three runs before the buff runs out. Just remember the drop rate is really bad. 
It might take a lot of runs just to get one rune arc. You'll have plenty of runs where you just get nothing. It, uh, I don't really know whether this is worth doing or not. I mean, it probably isn't. You're probably better off farming runes to upgrade your character rather than relying on the great rune to get extra attribute points. But if you can do this while chilling out and listening to music or something, then you can stock up on rune arcs over the course of an hour or two. And that helps you play with a great rune active if you die. So yeah, maybe it is worthwhile in that, in that case, I guess. In any case though, once you've done three runs, the buff will run out. Instead of running back to the side of Grace, just keep going through the lit area and then drop down at the end. At the bottom are three silver fireflies you can pick up and that's where you'll farm those. Pick them up, then fast travel back to the side of Grace and basically start your run all over again. And that's it. You'll hate doing it due to the low drop rate, but this is the best option you've got if you're an offline PvE player. So yeah, even though you'll hate From Software for this, you should still like my video for trying to help you out because this is the best farming method for getting rune arcs that I'm aware of. So anyway, once you've run out of the buff, which is about to run out, you can just drop straight down here and here are the three silver fireflies that you can grab. And the buff will run out any moment now. And you can see I've got 10 rune arcs, most of those obtained just from doing this run. So you do get them even though it's a low drop rate, but it is a very low drop rate. I can't stress that enough. Anyway, that's it. Have fun killing rats. Thanks for watching.